Does the commando replace the DMR? Will we be able to customize our human outside of just the Spartan themselves? And will Master Chief talk that much during the gameplay of Halo Infinite? Well, we discuss that and a lot more in this video, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. So it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, this video where I'm answering questions from the community. I recently went onto my community tab here, which if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll be able to catch these posts when they do go live. And I had a bunch of comments on here, guys, you guys asking really awesome questions about Halo Infinite. And so I wanted to answer a few of these and just kind of discuss on the topics that you want to hear about Halo Infinite. So if you want to take part in the next Q&A video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to know when those posts do go live. And if your question does not get answered within this video, don't worry, I usually make a few videos of each post. And so, without further ado, let's just get right into the content. First question is from Master Hall 117 I want to know the status of the beloved DMR. Is it replaced by the Commando? I'm slightly concerned about this as well, as I'm a big fan of the DMR weapon. I do feel like it's a little redundant though within the sandbox where it's kind of sat within Halo 4 and 5 mixed in with the battle rifle. And I would like to see it be more effective at longer ranges compared to the battle rifle. So I think there's definitely potential for the DMR to hold the spot within it. But the reason why people are thinking that the Commander replaces it is because from what we've seen from the gameplay trailers that there is no DMR for one of those things. And two, that the Commando seems to be kind of like a low fire rate high damage kind of weapon where the MA-40 assault rifle is more of a higher fire rate, low damage kind of assault rifle. And the battle rifle is supposed to be kind of like that precision weapon that's supposed to kind of be a charge of mid to long air-ish kind of ranges where it's kind of where traditionally where the DMR is sat. I mean, originally the reason why the DMR was made was because in Halo Reach, they threw out the battle rifle and went with the DMR. So you had a weapon within Halo Reach that filled the similar role as the battle rifle, but just wasn't the battle rifle. 343 decided to bring the DMR along with the battle rifle into the same sandbox and they've just kind of conflicted a little bit. Now there are definitely some minor differences that 343 has emphasized but nothing too much where it's really affected the gameplay and how you play with the weapons that different. So even though that the commando does seem to be more of a long range assault rifle I still feel like there's a place for the type of weapon like a DMR to fit within the sandbox from what we've seen so far. Now don't forget that we have seen the stalker rifle as well which again we've only seen a tied with like jackal sniper looking characters within these toy reveals to me giving me the impression these are more long range kind of weapons either the stalker rifle either is either like a sniper rifle or like a long range kind of weapon as well which is kind of where the dmr would sit obviously that's a banished weapon not a unsc weapon so there's still room for improvement there though i wouldn't lose all hope for the dmr being completely out of halo infinite but the recent cannon fodder showcased the new book the rubicon protocol which is a book that takes place just before the events of halo infinite of just some spartans that are trying to hold their own on the ring before they get ambushed by the banish. But I definitely want to point out some interesting things about this cover. Now I did make a previous video on this so if you want to get all the little details about it we're going to do a we're kind of an overview of this whole thing. You can see the Spartan on the right here is actually holding the Halo 5 version of the assault rifle which is very different from what we've seen for everything involved with Halo Infinite. We see another Spartan holding what looks to be like the S7 sniper rifle but take a look at this blue Spartan over here. They're definitely holding a DMR that looks very similar to what we've seen from like Halo 4 and 5. Obviously this is just covered art and from my impression of what we've seen about Halo Infinite is that, is that it's kind of like you're picking up weapons left around the ground and kind of things that you're kind of just picking up from a broken battle experience. And I do believe Halo Infinite takes place about five-ish years after the events of Halo 5 so DMR definitely could be part of the sandbox eventually maybe add into a battle pass for like season two or three or some time beyond that. I guess totally see something like that happening. So it definitely seems like at launch that the DMR is not gonna be part of the sandbox. But does the commander replace the DMR? Kind of, but not really. Tech No asked the question, I want to know more about customizing the human under the Spartan suit. And also is the training ground mode a lobby where you can walk around without the Spartan suit on similar to the ending of Halo 4. When talking about the ending of Halo 4, they kind of showcase this like specific scene right here where it shows like a Spartan on a treadmill running trying to keep up in pace. Or how in Spartan after here, especially with the first episode, you see these Spartans talking with each other, but obviously without the armor suits on, just the undersuit. So you can see like how you're talking about you want to be able to customize just like maybe the human underneath the armor itself. 
Because as you can see right here, it's definitely part of what's going to be called the Academy for Halo Infinite. You can see that you're going to become one of these cadets that are going to be part of the Academy. You see them without their undersuits. Even though this guy right here and this guy right here are basically like literal copy and paste of the same character within the scene. I didn't notice that until now, but that's kind of funny. And what we've seen for Spartan customization, obviously you can do like little arms for like different kind of like robot arms and stuff like that. But you are able to change your body type, they said, but they didn't mention anything about gender. So I'm assuming you can probably make yourself look slim, bigger wider kind of things like that and within the multiplayer overview they did showcase a bit more of the academy right here as well as you can see you see spartan right here walking around with their armor set on with the helmet off so maybe you can maybe customize the way the facial features look with your spartan which would be a really cool thing to have done though i do feel like that would be a bit excessive because we're really never going to see it a whole lot especially with the clips that we see right here specifically you see the spartan running around with their armor set on right here within the shooting range with their armor set on so i don't really expect to see that kind of customization within Halo Infinite, though I do think it would be a cool thing if they could work out something like that. GT Mo 55 Mac, or GT Moss Mac, if that's how you want to pronounce it, asks, do you think the Chief will speak in the campaign during gameplay? And what I think they mean by that is this kind of clip like right here in Halo 4. Blast it! It's okay. How? How is this okay? We literally think ourselves to death. You know I won't let that happen. So if we are going to hear Chief talking within the gameplay of Halo Infinite, I think it'll be more just kind of like response answers that we've to the new Cortana or Cortuna or the weapon as it's officially called. However, you want to refer to that new Cortana model. But I do feel like we're going to see more of a return to classic Master Chief, like the one through three Master Chief, where it's really just kind of like a one liner machine, right? He just has the best thing to say with the least amount of words along with it. I mean, just remember that intro clip of the 2020 campaign reveal, how much that the pilot talks and how little Chief actually talks. But whenever Chief talks, it's very profound. I think we're going to see something very similar with that with Halo Infinite. No, it's no, you, I can't. Stand this! Who oh, you are? Breathe. No! You don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything! We're... Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. We're not gonna have a chatty chief like we have with Halo 4 or Halo 5. Super Hippo asks, Thoughts on being able to play as brutes, elites, jackals, grunts, hunters, marines, blood, etc. in custom game, or create a game mode of humans versus aliens like in Gears of War. I believe the mode that you're referring to in Gears of War is Horde mode, which is definitely awesome. It's kind of what spawned Firefight was because of Gears of War 2's popularity with Horde mode. Could we see playable elites and different races within Halo Infinite? I don't really think so. I don't think it's ever going to be part of the experience when it comes to Halo Infinite. Even though, yes, it is a 10-year plan with this one game as a live service, so certainly things would be possible for that to happen. But I think there's always going to be an emphasis on your Spartan to create your Spartan how you want to play. Could we see like an AI version of playing against like all the banished bad guys? Absolutely. I expect at some point to see some kind of repeatable gameplay loop element with the PvE side of things. That's why I think the campaign is going to be worth 60 bucks. I feel like there's going to be a lot to do within that campaign, much more than just playing through a story like we've traditionally had with Halo. I mean, could we see it within custom games? I mean, if 343 allows mods and stuff like that, I don't think why we wouldn't see something like that created by the community. But honestly, I wouldn't hold your breath and seeing playable races outside of just being your Spartan for quite some time. The last question by Sir Live 16 Are we going to fight the Flood in campaign? We had those toy leaks and Zeta Halo was a place of many flood experiments. Short answer, yes. Long answer, well here's why. A while back, 343 actually did an analysis of the creation of the announcement trailer and they cited Combat Evolved as a major influence of the experience that they want to capture with Halo Infinite. Because this game is a bit of a back to basics kind of thing, back to try to capture that original feel of what made Halo so great. And so, what is one of the most important parts of the original trilogy 
that's gonna be like a soft reboot like they mentioned with Halo Infinite, what is the most important part of the trilogy? It's the Flood. The Flood were the overarching enemy that kind of glued the whole story together and gave cause and purpose to all your actions within the original trilogy. So the fact that the Flood would not be back in Halo Infinite, I'd be shocked because there are significant lore reasons why the Flood could return as well. I believe there's some containment facilities on Installation 07. Uh, we do know the rumor of the Palace of Pain, which is rumored to be that thing in the back of the cover art as well, which is where one of the Forerunners actually did a lot of experiments on humans within that Palace of Pain. We've also had various flood leaks that we've reported on this channel multiple times, guys, like this example right here showcasing these tentacle-like structures coming from this ground of like a Mega Constructs piece. So the fact that Halo Infinite is a soft reboot and trying to recall a lot of the original Combat Evolved feels, if you're trying to recall back to the original trilogy, like yeah, you have the Banish, which is basically like the Covenant 2.0, to be honest, and then you have the Flood. It's gonna be the ultimate bad guy that's gonna be kind of gluing this all together to kind of create some ultimate enemy. We do know with Halo Wars 2 that they did find a way to write in the Flood through the story arc, so the Flood are out there. They're not gone. So I could totally expect to see the Flood coming back within Halo Infinite. If you've been out of the loop for Halo news for the last few days or so, check out the playlist right here I have on my screen. I upload daily Halo news videos, so I'm sure you might have missed some of them. So check out the videos right there, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.